Hi, my name is Erka and in this video I'm going to show you how to use my recently uh, updated Realistic Digital Painting Actions uh, version 1.0. Step 1. Open Photoshop and uh, load your photo. As you can see I've already loaded mine. Um, and step 2. Make sure uh, your layer is locked and uh, named background um, if it is not and it looks like this then you have to click on it and go to layer and new oh, sorry layer new and then background from layer and it's going to automatically lock it and rename it uh, background um, Otherwise, your actions, the actions are going to give you quite a lot of errors and they're not going to work at all. So yeah, make sure everything looks like this. Next thing, uh, I think we are, it's step three. Yes, step three. Click on window and then you click on um, actions and the actions window is going to appear, pop up. And step four, you have to load the actions by clicking here and clicking on load actions. I'm not going to do that because I've loaded mine already. And so, yeah, so you click on load actions. You look for where you've saved the folder with my actions and you load them. So, yes, step number five uh, play the actions the way you do that is you click on this little arrow here and the action itself is going to to appear so you click on digital painting action and you click on this little arrow here and you're gonna be basically playing the action after you do that um, then step six is literally um, editing the settings, but for that we have to wait for the actions to finish. By the way, uh, I'm using a photo of uh, a very talented British singer. If you haven't heard of her, you should definitely go check her out. Her name is Jasmine Thompson. Uh, she is really, really talented. And if you've never heard her music, you are truly missing out. So you should go and check her out. I will put a link in the description. So yeah. It shouldn't be uh, very long now. It's almost done. It could take two, three minutes, it depends. There you go, it's, uh, it's done. All right, so I hate the colors. Um, all right, let's see what I can do. Now, you don't have to just only use the lighting settings that you see here. You can add more hue and saturation, different color balance uh, layers and selective color layers. I don't know, it, it's really up to you. Um, let's see a little bit like that. Yeah, I think this way. Now, I think uh, considering it's a bigger picture, uh, I am going to use the action once more. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see, do I need details? I think it's pretty detailed. Mm. Maybe just a tiny bit like that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to merge all the layers together and the way you do that, you click on one layer and then you click on shift on your keyboard, you hold it down and then click on the last uh, layer. You can do it the other way around too, click on this layer and then click on this one and it's gonna select them all so you don't go and select each one. Uh, okay, uh, and then you click uh, Command E or Control E if you're using a uh, Windows computer, a PC. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to go and play the action again. Play. And now we wait again. I used to be um, quite upset when I moved from uh, Photoshop CS6 uh, to Photoshop CC because uh, on CS6 there used to be these this filter that you could use the oil painting uh, filter and which was very cool but in CC for some reason it's not there anymore it doesn't exist anymore so I felt kind of frustrated and uh, yeah kind of set too and I just thought I started kind of fooling around and this is how it used to be and this is how it is now. Now you can also choose to, for example, um, turn on the original kind of photo after you've used it the second time, turn it on and just lower the opacity a little bit. So you see? Okay, and um, I think that's it for today. I am going to um, fast forward um, a few more examples so you can see what uh, the actions can do. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye!